Hey everyone, it's Sean from Our Bronco Life, and today we're going to be installing some new seat covers by Custom Interior. And we are excited about this because we chose the brown seat covers, which we got inspiration from from the original concept when the Bronco was first released many years ago. So come on, let's go unbox it and start our install on the seat covers. Now we chose the all brown with double hex stitch accent and these seat covers can be applied directly over the factory seat without removing the original upholstery and we are excited to see how these turn out it is a great way to upgrade your interior to your bronco now before installing we recommend putting these in the sun for a little bit to warm up it'll be easier to maneuver them around your seats so we're going to start with the back seats first i'm going to start with the double seat bottom first and then the back of the seat so let's begin now here is underneath the seat cushion. The way it's gonna stay secure is you got cross straps that are gonna go under your seats and then you have one longer cross strap that's gonna reach all the way under your seat to keep it nice and secure and snug. All right, we're starting with the bottom of the second row passenger. I'm just gonna wrap around the front portion first and then recline the seat and going to tuck in the straps into the crack of the seat here and then in the middle seat kind of has a nice hook there that way you can get it nice and snug squeeze it down the side here Once you get all the edges in place, I'm gonna put the seat back up for now and then find the straps underneath and strap them together. All right, underneath we got the one long strap. We got one, two, and three short straps. And we're gonna just click them all together. The upper back portion has a zipper that you want to unzip and there's Velcro attachments for when you wrap it around the seat itself. So the first thing you want to do is funnel it under the seat belt because this will be maneuvered around the seat belt. So that way the seat belt sits on top and then it's going to wrap around the back side and you're going to zipper it together. So first what I'm going to do is Recline the seat a little bit. Wrap around the edges. And then, so it's in a rough position. Once I get the edges wrapped around, I'm just gonna come up here and get the headrest portion pushed through. It's got the pre-hold area for your headrest. So you just push over the plastic clips that way it'll provide a nice, snug upper portion of the seat. Pretty simple there. And now I'm going to work it around and start Velcroing it together. Once again, just recline the seat a little bit so you can give yourself a nice gap. And this portion is going to go under. under the plastic part and then you have it velcro it's going to wrap around to tuck this bottom part in as far as possible because you're going to be pulling it from the back of the seat to velcro it to the seat itself since all the seats have carpeted backs, this will be helpful. So, the zippering will be the last part because all your point of contacts, which are Velcro, will Velcro to the actual OEM seat part portion. And then you'll just zipper it nice and tight for final adjustments. So 
this goes for both sides. You down at the seat belt buckle, you want to wrap the seat cover around, and then the Velcro you can just stick to anywhere on the back of your seat. Now, I'm going to start pulling the bottom portion of the seat cover from the back side so I can get my Velcro attachment points. You want to get that as snug as possible. So pull it nice and taut. There you go. And then once it Velcro's down, on the other side has Velcro itself. So that's what the back of your seat is going to attach to. So here's the Velcro points that are from under the seat. And you can see that they're Velcro to the back of your OEM seat, and then they have exposed Velcro that the top of your seats are going to attach to here once we secure it, and then we will zip it up to get it nice and taut. Now before I secure the final bottom Velcro piece, I'm going to zip it up so it gets nice and taut, and then I'm going to maneuver this as far down as I can. It's a nice, taut back seat. Now, any other pieces that are just kind of maybe not in position, you can just work them out, like around the seat release and anywhere. But that was pretty easy for the first one. So now let's go to the other side. Okay, just like the other side underneath, we have cross clips on both sides that are going to secure the bottom portion. So I'm going to start with the front lip once again. Work it around the seat. And then I'm going to tuck in the two clips in the back here and on the side. And just maneuver it around the back portion. Get it nice and snug around the plastic area. And then I'm gonna reach from underneath and connect the clips. The back portion of this seat has a side zipper and Velcro on the bottom and on the sides, once again, to wrap around the plastic areas on both sides. So I'm going to fold the seat down, put it over the top, get that nice in position, push through the headrest area, and then start to feed the bottom portion through. And then this goes around the plastic and tucks around the seatbelt. And then that long Velcro strap will connect to the back of the seat itself. And that'll be on both sides. So this portion, as I mentioned, will go underneath the plastic and then you'll grab it around and get it nice and tucked in around the plastic and velcro this long strap to the back of the seat itself. And here's the two portions of the seat cover. That it's just going to velcro to each other there. So I'm doing the Velcro first because this doesn't have a Velcro to the back of the seat. It just Velcros to each other. And then the final step will be the side zipper. Once you get it in position, then you can just make any adjustments and get it nice and snug as possible. Last part for the back seat is to get the headrest 
portion installed and replace them so you're good to go. Now just find the correct headrest. For the outside ones, you'll find that it has a hole for the headrest release. And the way to tell which way it is, you'll see this more uh, pronounced tubing on the front here. That is the front of the headrest itself. So just maneuver it over. And you got different Velcro points to get it nice and secure. Back seats are done, now let's move to the front seats. Now we've had seat covers in the past, but what I really like about this one is that you're not going to have to remove the seats itself. You can just work around it. And so we're excited to have that much easier process to install these seat covers. Just like the back seats, I left them out in the sun for about five minutes just to warm them up to make them easier to install. Now we're ready to install them in the front. All right, I'm going to do the bottom portion first to tell which side is the correct one. There is a piece of Velcro, which will go on the closest to the center console inside there because you can feel on the inside of your seat, there is a nice place to attach that Velcro. And underneath has one, two hooks, one clip. All right, let's first get the front portion of the seat over. And then once I get the front portion, I'm going to tuck the three clips, essentially they are, that'll hold it in position. Tuck those as far down as possible. and you want them to essentially kind of be open against the back side of the seat. Once we get that into position, you can start working the edges around the seatbelt area and the plastic area. And tuck in the side moldings around the plastic area. Once you get that all worked in, then you can go under the seat and connect all the connection points. So the seatbelt side here, you want to make sure you funnel that strap down and under the seat and Velcro that inner part nice and snug, as well as tuck it in the inside of your plastic area. And then on the door side, just start tucking some of this piping below, but this is where you want to funnel the strap behind the plastic and run it under the seat and connect it, which we did. Then you got two front straps and you can connect to portion of your seat. Now we're going to work on the back portion of the seat. First you want to remove the headrest. Set it aside. And then for the seat cover, you have a zipper on one side and the zipper is on the closest to the door side. So that's how you know which seat it's going to be for and then underneath. You have two more of those clips. You have three of those essentially kind of like pressure clips that will just funnel in between the two seats and kind of just hold in place nice and snug. So let's work on getting this on. So you got those three pieces that we're gonna Line the seat and I'm going to stick them through close to the other ones. And just like the back seats, you have the cutouts for the headrest that you're going to maneuver them around. And 
Now I'm going to come in the back here, just get it nice and snug as possible. Zip it up. And then backside, as mentioned, two clips back here that I'm going to funnel under the seat to get it nice and secure. Time to install the headrests. Just like the back, you see this extra piping that is going to be the front facing portion of the headrest and where the Velcro connects will be the back of your headrest. Now once you get everything in place, you can just start to work the seat cover around the certain plastic areas to get it nice and cleaned up and snug. Now lastly, let's go over to the passenger seat and repeat. All right, starting with the bottom portion again, it's going to loop the front of the seat in, making sure my straps on either side are out. So I get the front portion of the seat on. Feed the strap next to the seat belt. And then push through those three mounting clips through the crack of the seat. And when you push those through, you'll feel it kind of pulling against the back of the seat. That's when you know it's in position. Now, once again, close to the seat belt here, you have Velcro as well as you want to tuck in the edges on the inside of the plastic. And over here on the door side, one of your strap connections, which will go between the seat and the plastic adjuster. You just have to feed that down so you can grab it from under the seat and connect it. Once you get them all fed underneath, just reach under and connect them to secure the bottom of the seat. All right, now the back of the seat. Once again, zipper is gonna be facing the door. Move this seat up. And start to work it over. Fits nice and good here. I'm gonna recline the seat a little bit so I can feed those three clips in between the crack of your seat. Once you get the clips fed through, now I'm going to push through our headrest points. Just push around your plastic area. Get nice and snug there. I'm gonna zip it up on the door side and then come behind the seat and attach those last two mounting points to secure the back portion. Final touches, putting the headrest back on and then just working around the seat to tuck in any excess areas to make the seats look nice and snug. And there we go. Installation is complete on our custom interior seat covers. Really happy with the way they turned out. Love the brown, the way it looks inside of our Bronco. Now, installation took oh, maybe a little bit less than an hour, and it was just myself. If you had a partner, it would definitely be easier and take some time off that total time of installation. But the quality of these, these just feel very durable and thick and nice and premium. So if you're looking for a way to upgrade your Bronco interior, check out Custom Interiors Options and make sure you like and subscribe our channel and follow us on Instagram at Our Bronco Life. Thanks for stopping by, everyone.